they will do justice. And this is what the Senate should have done. They were not politicians last night. They were jurors. They were judges. They should have been fair. They should have allowed time for Gashaga to defend himself. But this will be a basic ground upon which I believe the decision of the House can be invalidated. Exactly the Deputy President lawyers. They brought out the truth that, and this is what Senator Wambua asked me to say, whose motion is this? <laughs> You could tell he was not the owner of the motion. He was just a gun for hire, and through cross examination, that became very evident. But today, apart from the principle of a man not being condemned and hard, especially when he's on his back in a hospital bed, the second principle that was broken by the House, which is a fundamental principle of natural justice is that you shall not be a judge in your own cause. The rule of bias is a very basic principle of natural justice. Both speakers of the two houses had been mentioned as shareholders, beneficiaries of an arrangement in Kenya Kwans. They are interested parties. And one of them had in fact before the matter appearing before him speaker Otangula I think was in the Machakos County when he showed his bias on a matter coming before him he had already pronounced himself as to what should happen to regard the Shagwa who was going to appear before him open bias was shown by the speaker Otangula, deputy speaker Sholei, majority leader Kimani Shunga the chief whip Osoro and they couldn't have been a fair trial for the dead. So today we want to say this, that as a country we miss an opportunity to showcase that we have one of the best constitutions, not in Africa, in the world, the most progressive. Last night it was being tested. As a country we have respected and observed the two principles fundamental principles of natural justice and we let our country down. However, all is not over. As His Excellency has said, our last line of defense is the judiciary. We pray and we hope as His Excellency's team appears before court, they will do justice. And this is what the Senate should have done. They were not politicians last night. They were jurors. They were judges. They should have been fair. They should have allowed time for Gashaga to defend himself. But this will be a basic ground upon which I believe the decision of the House can be invalidated and justice shall be done. This, we want to say thank you to our senators, our leader in the Senate, Senator Wambua of Kitui, I think captured everything as NEO stands for. Our leader in the National Assembly, Honorable Robert Ndui, spoke for all of us, as as me. But their counterparts in ODM spoke a different language. So today, even as we go forward, we can no longer pretend that we are like-minded. On impeachment, we did say this was not a priority for Kenya. Kenyans have more serious issues. Kenyans cannot take their kids to school because of the failed new funding model in our universities. Patients are dying because when you go to hospitals now, dialysis, you are being turned away. When you have no money, you are a poor person, you are condemned to death by William Ruto and his failed policy, Adani Shah. Those are issues that even as we speak, as as new, we have differed, not just on this impeachment, not just on joining the great best government. We have also differed on Adani, and yesterday we were in court led by a senior counsel. Kenyans will on 22nd of October see who is really fighting for them, because we'll be back in court.
to continue the fight against corruption. Open court. In open court, we will be around in the second welcome all Kenyans to come. But the matter as it rests today rests with the judiciary. It's the last line of defense. It's our only arm of government that has not been captured. And we pray to God. Because between this nation and disaster is the judiciary. That is our shield and defender. Thank you. Thank you very much. Maybe we we'll hear Senator. Kamaa, <laughs> tumeweza kuongea na daktari ambaye anamhudumia na amesema kwamba bado matibabu yanaendelea na kwa sasa hawezi kuweza uh, kuongea kwa sababu anaendelea na matibabu jambo nataka niseme ni kwamba jana mnajua vile ilipendeka ya kwamba anaibu rais Igadi Gachagua alikuwa aweze kuingia katika bunge la senate aweze kujitetea kutokana na mashtaka ambayo alikuwa amewekelewa na mtuse na mnajua kwamba haikuwezekana kwa naibu wa rais kuja kujitetea kwa sababu aliweza kugonjeka kabla ya yeye kuja kujitetea katika jumba letu la senate nataka niseme kwamba jambo ambalo lilihuzunisha zaidi kuona kwamba mheshimiwa naibu wa rais aliweza kuhukumiwa bila kusikizwa hilo ni jambo ambalo limeweza kushangaza sana nchi yetu ya Kenya kwa sababu sheria inasema kwamba kila mtu yako na, na haki ya kusikizwa kama umeshtakiwa uko na haki ya kujitetea lakini tunaona kwamba hakupata nafasi na haki ya kujitetea sisi tuliweza uh, mawakili wake waliweza kuomba nafasi apewe mpaka kesho siku ya Jumamosi aweze kuja kujitetea katika lile bunge na baada ya sisi kujaribu kuunga jambo hilo mkono halikuwezekana waliendelea na kazi ambayo walikuwa wameamua kufanya na nataka niseme ya kwamba tulijaribu kwa uwezo wetu lakini tulishindwa kwa sababu kule bunge ni namba ambazo zinafanya kazi nataka niwashukuru sana wale senators wa kutoka mlengo wa WIPA Democratic Movement ambao walisimama na sisi katika hii vita ya kutetea naibu wa rais kutokana na mashtaka ambayo sisi tulipoyasoma tuliona kwamba ni mashtaka ambayo hayakuwa na mwelekeo na walisimama na sisi na tuliweza kupambana vile tuliweza lakini nasema kwamba tunaombea naibu rais afueni ya haraka wakati ambapo wanaendelea kupata matibabu katika hospitali ya hapa Karen Hospital na anajua kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu ataweza kumsaidia na ataweza kutoka hospitali na ataendelea kuweza kufanya kazi yake. Mimi nataka niseme ya kwamba ni jambo ambalo ni la huzuni sakilisha watu wa kaunti ya Lamu na waliniambia kwamba nisimame na naibu rais. Nisimama na wewe paka mwisho kulingana na mujibu na haki ya watu wa kaunti ya Lamu. Nataka nishukuru sana watu ambao walinituma katika hili bunge la Senate kuwakilisha na wanapotoa sauti ni wajibu wangu kama kiongozi kuona kwamba nimesimama na vile ambavyo wanaitu wa kaunti ya Lamu wamenituma kufanya asante sana asante ni i think that's okay mimi tayari nimetaja kuna brigade kama dp tayari kuna jina jingine pale limependekezwa na rais bila mruto ambalo ni jina la kile hii ni kuweka wake kama taifa na kama wakili kutajwa ni one thing na kuidhinishwa ni jambo lingine hivi tunavyozungumza his excellency regardi kachagua is the second to president of the republic of kenya but we shall see what happens going forward kilinganisha kwamba kwamba yeye tayari mawakili wake ameenda kwa mahakama na vile vile bunge pia inaendelea na hizo shughuli zingine ambazo wamezitaja another question Thank you. Thank you.